Hi there folks, it's Tim G5TM. Let's have a look at the 16 meter band. As always, thanks for joining me. And if this is your first time, then think about clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell for any future videos. And if you're a regular, great to have you back again. So then, the 60 meter band uh, sits just above five megahertz. Now, I must confess, I've had my Icon 7300 for about two years now. Oh, boy, that was, <laughs> that was the air freshener that's going off there. But I've had the Icon 7300 uh, for about two years now. And um, I'm, not, I'm not, never gonna have it wide banded. I'm just not gonna do that. Uh, and I supposed, would you believe it, uh, that the, um, well, that 60 meters couldn't, couldn't work on the 7300 because it's not been opened up. And of course, stupid me, uh, it does work <laughs> on 60 meters. I thought I'd have to dig out my 891, which was bought second hand. It was white banded before I got it. So um, yeah, so the old 7300 over here uh, works okay on, on, on 60 meters. And uh, what, what was also pleasing was I've only got a 50 foot doublet up and uh, lo and behold, I was able to load up 60 meters on the 50 foot doublet. 50 foot is about 15 meters. And in fact, a half wave on uh, 60 meters on the frequencies that we use is around 87 to 88 feet. Uh, what is that? That's about 26 to 27, probably about 27 meters long. So uh, there you go. So it's good that the old uh, 15 meter, 50 foot doublet actually works. Anyway, 60 meters then. Now, the only thing in the UK about being on 60 meters is you have to be a full license holder, sadly. So you can't go on there with a two Echo Zero or two Whiskey Zero or an M6 or an M7 or an M3. You've got to be a full license holder. One of the reasons for that is because the band itself is, is shared, uh, five megahertz is basically shared with, with the uses of the military in the UK, which means that we're, we're, we're very much uh, borrowing it or very much leasing the band in terms of our usage. Uh, as such, therefore, there are certain quirks, if you like, to the band plan and certain things that we, we have to follow in terms of frequencies and power. So in the UK, basically, you have a, a 100 watt uh, limit in terms of power, just reading it here. Yeah, your maximum transmitted power is 100 watts and your effective radiated power can't be more than 200 watts. Uh, so you are fairly limited to what you can do. Uh, also, in terms of the frequencies as well, uh, there are spot frequencies that you can use. There's about 10 or 12 of them, I think, from memory. And in fact, what I'll do, I'll see if I can pop uh, a list of them down below in the comments for you if you're interested. Now, in the UK, uh, basically one of the most important, or one of the most popular of these spot frequencies is 5.398.5 megahertz. Uh, all upper sideband, by the way, that's the other thing about uh, 60 meters as well. You'd think basically once you get to 40 and below, you'd be on, on LSB, it's upper sideband on 60 meters. And effectively, there are about 10 or 12 frequencies that we can use in the UK. Now, the good thing about 60 meters, it offers like a bridge between uh, 40 and 80 uh, when, we need to when we need to use maybe some shorter skip propagation. So effectively, you get that bridge between seven and, and 3.6 or 3.7 or 3.5 megahertz. And because of that, it's usually a good uh, tool, a uh, good frequency to use in terms of getting some NVIS communication happening. That's near vertical instant skyway uh, uh, communication happening uh, within the UK. So in the daytime, 60 meters is a nice band to use for some, well, some inter-G work really. Because 60 meters is less affected by the uh, the D layer than 80 meters, it, it allows you to use those uh, to to have a little bit more uh, in terms of those uh, shorter distance contacts uh, within the day. One other thing to bear in mind about 60 meters is the fact that if you uh, if you hear or listen to a uh, a military communication happening, then uh, you're not to interfere with it. In fact, they can respond to your call, and but they will not give you their location for pretty obvious reasons. Anyway, I jumped on 60 meters last Sunday morning and I thought I'd give you a flavor of what it was like. Remember, I was only using a 50 foot doublet, which on 60 meters is a, less than a third of a wavelength. So it's, uh, it was pushing the outer boundaries a bit of the tuner, but the Kenwood, little Kenwood tuner here managed to do the, to do the job for me. But uh, made, some, made some contacts on 60 meters. So um, let's have a look to see what's possible. Zero, 
Roger, Roger. Standing by. Germany 5, Tango Mike. Golf 5, Tango Mike. And if you copy Golf 7, Jimmy 4, Top Shot India. GZW2, yeah, okay, on the 100 watts and the uh, short doublet. I will have the uh, 140 short doublet. This is Golf 5 Tango Mike, listening for any last calls. Golf 4, uh, Oscar Tango. Golf 4. Yeah, G5 GMG for you, Wayne. Um, by the way, you're about 5 and 8 here. Um, Okay then, so there you go, a bit of life on 60 metres, uh, another band to try, especially if you've got, well only if you've got your full licence, but uh, if you're working towards that, or you're thinking towards studying towards your full at some stage, then uh, it's a nice incentive isn't it, to try and go for that and get another band under your belt. I'll put those frequencies beneath the, uh, beneath the video for you in the comments section and hope that proves of use to you. Anyway, 7-3, nice to uh, have you with me again and uh, hope you stay safe and uh, we're getting near Christmas so I hope you have a good one. This is G5TM wishing you 73 and click that subscribe button if you've yet to do so. That'd be lovely to have you on board. All the best then and uh, have a nice one. Bye bye.